This is BTV. Graphite is an essential metal valued for both its lubricating and conducting properties. It's long been used in refractories, batteries, and steelmaking, and has new applications in electronics, electric vehicles, and renewable energy. Today, most of it, 70 to 80 percent, is produced in China, but also in Sweden. Last month, Vancouver-based Flinders Resources cut the ribbon on a graphite mine in central Sweden. That makes Flinders the first pure play publicly listed graphite producer in the world. For Flinders Resources, we are the only producer in the space, and that's a big differentiator. We're, we're pretty excited about that. Graphite has always been in demand, but never more than today. Strong growth in traditional markets has been augmented by double-digit growth from new applications, like portable electronics, hybrid and electric cars, and more. Graphite's in everything we use pretty much every day. Everyone's got a piece of graphite on them, from your cell phone to any batteries that you may have at home. And China's market has changed, so therefore it's opening up the, the market for other entries. With the production capacity of 13,000 tons per year, Flinders Resources' Waxna Graphite Mine in central Sweden is well positioned to help supply new demand. Waxna was in operation from 1996 to 2001 when falling graphite prices shut it down. But with the Chinese supply not keeping up with increased global demand, graphite prices are up again, and Waxna is up and running. Graphite is a high demand commodity and also recognized in Europe and in the USA as a, as a critical mineral. And as a result, a lot of companies are trying to get into production so they can serve into that market. Startup cost blenders less than $5 million. Today, the mine is operational and ramping up to produce a variety of graphite specifications, all tailored to meet customer requirements. Waxna has a high-quality graphite flake, a large, expandable resource, first-class infrastructure, and an enviable position within the European Union. Being the only producer in the space, they're going to come to us first for product. Graphite, it's a lower cost commodity, so you can't justify shipping it long distances. Europeans are keen to find an alternative supply to China. What we're doing right now is working with refractory and crucible consumers. They're the primary consumer of graphite in, in uh, Europe. China at present dominates global graphite production. There hasn't been any new graphite mines since the mid-1980s. And the Flinders startup is the first of the new generation of ex exploration projects. And the startup shows that there is a demand for new alternative sources to China. Flinders' long-term strategy is to build on its first mover status, becoming a dominant graphite producer for European, North American, and Australasian markets. And they've got the expertise and the cash to make it happen. So our strategy as a, for our investors to understand is that we are a graphite company. We aim to be a global graphite producer. We're not looking to be bought out. That's why we're going through the steps, get our assets, get them in production, secure the sales, grow those sales, grow our business. And as we pick up another asset, we repeat that process. We said we'd get Walkshner restarted, and we did and we'll do the same with future assets. Flinders is currently in negotiations to acquire and restart a dormant graphite facility in Mexico. That positions them to supply the planned Tesla Gigafactory in Nevada. You can find Flinders on the TSX Venture Exchange. Their symbol is FDR.